today I'm going to use preview to show you how to make the background of a picture transparent or pull an object out of a picture. So first find a picture that you want and double click it and it will open in preview. Once preview is open you'll see a select tab that you can click on and you'll notice the extract shape command. I like to zoom in on my picture before I do that just so I can see the detail pretty well. Now you get a message that says drag around the area you wish to extract. So I'm going to draw around my picture here fairly carefully but not worrying too much about being exact knowing that I can fix that after I finish. So I'm going to drag out this picture and connect back with the top. And now I get a message telling me to refine the outline and press return when done. So for instance I have a little bobble there. I can delete those and move this up here. Go like that. Drag that in a little bit. Get rid of all these unnecessary ones here to make that straight across. Again with that one and get those out of there too so I have a nice relatively straight line across and drag that in drag that in there where I bobbled a little again and when I'm happy with that I hit return and now it says click and drag to map out areas of the picture the image so if I do this you can see anywhere that's red is going to be transparent so this is already matted out but up here you can see that my hair has a little bit that's left in there. If I option drag, you'll see it turn green and I can add some of that hair back in. You can see, depending on how much time you have and how detailed you want to be, you can add, it doesn't hurt anything to include stuff that you've already included. I think that's a pretty good facsimile of that. I'm going to drag out and notice anything else that's missing looks pretty good. When you're happy, you hit return finalize. And now you'll see I indeed have a picture of me on a transparent background. The final step is to save it as a PNG. That will maintain the transparent background so that when you drag it into a keynote or a PowerPoint or pages or Word document it will be just the outline of the image you extracted and not the square with a white background. Hope that was helpful and I'll see you next time.